park art kind of started about a year ago where I was thinking that London had no sculpture park anywhere and then thought, why can't we have one in Haringey? We were invited by Haringey Council to work with them on a project that would bring high quality sculpture into various parks across Haringey. And at the time we were actually really interested in developing an idea for a temporary pop-up sculpture park for London that could occupy various green spaces across the city. So this seemed like a really fantastic opportunity to try out that idea. The main space for the project is Bruce Castle Park and we worked with Ben Long to create a giant scaffold lion. When I got the commission to, to make something at Bruce Castle, um, I, I was thinking about maybe a, a regal subject such as a, a lion um, that would tie in very nicely with the architecture and the stories of uh, Robert the Bruce having been here and his emblem was a lion so it seemed to fit with that. Uh, and also just because uh, there's many monuments around London that we see where we've, with lions on them and uh, this is kind of like a contemporary monument so instead of making something out of stone or bronze I've made it out of scaffolding because it's a material that speaks, uh, speaks of like the flux of the city and the, uh, the, the rapid evolution that takes place in a place like London. You may know Bruce Castle gets its name from the de Bruce family who came over after the Norman Conquest at the invitation of William the Conqueror. The heraldic emblem of Robert the Bruce was the lion, and to have the lion outside created so imaginatively by Ben Long, giving people an idea not just about art, and what can be art and what art may be, it also gives them an interest in the history of the building. I think it's magnificent, it's a shame it's not permanent, but uh, it's quite remarkable. We've loved it. It's really nice because it's our uh, park and it's come alive with new and interesting things. We were really keen to kind of get a, a breadth of sculptural intervention, so not just thinking about sculpture as a physical object but also a sound and light. So we invited Martin Richmond to look at the Hawk Tower, which is in Bruce Castle Park, and he developed a light installation and collaborated with a sound artist, Charlie Kerr, to create a soundscape that accompanied that. It was a very seductive space for the sort of work that I produce. It's a tall, thin space, and so the idea of a long, thin mobile hanging in the space seemed to suit very well. The mobile is made of a number of what I call dichroic blades. And dichroic is a Greek word meaning two colours. And what it does is transmit one colour and reflects its complementary opposite colour. So for every single one of these, with each light source, one gets two panels of light floating around the room. These elements here start looking not unlike birds in flight, some more so than others, and as they turn and twist, they take on sort of almost childlike drawings of birds in flight. An important aspect of this installation is how the soundscape adds certain qualities to the perception of the place and the piece. I know that Charlie started off with a Tudor dance. He's then recorded sounds of modern day Tottenham and mixed them together to make a sort of sonorous soundscape. So the quiet turning and floating of the colour and light of the mobile is echoed surprisingly often within the quality of the soundscape. It's a lovely park and the um, art installations are really beautiful. I love the, um, the, the one in the round tower. I think that's really lovely. We were looking at a project that would evolve over lots of different spaces in the borough um, and our main focus was Bruce Castle Park but um, there's also Finsbury Park which is over on the other side of the borough and an important part of the project was actually to try and encourage people to travel from east to west and visit parts of the borough that they don't know already and there's a fantastic organisation called Furtherfield who have recently set up a gallery in the middle of Finsbury Park so we partnered with them and they commissioned Michael Spakowski to create a sound installation as part of Park Art. This piece is a, a generative piece which means that the music, the, the instrumental sounds 
there is a database of about 250 loops which I wrote. Um, they're all in loosely the same mode, uh, which means they all fit together quite nicely. Plus there are various drones and various repeated patterns. The computer program that I wrote calls these loops in at random so that it creates uh, an ongoing piece of music which never exactly repeats itself. The other computer has a database of about 400 grabs of local people uh, recorded in this park, young people from a local primary school, recalling childhood rhymes in as many languages as we can manage from the borough. So it's a kind of homage really to the fantastic diversity of uh, contemporary London. Parabéns pra você nessa data querida, muita felicidade, muito anos de vida. We recruited and trained 15 volunteers and two pro project supervisors to be part of Park Art in Haringey. They um, were all young and unemployed for the summer and they were all obviously from the borough and really, really, really excited about the fact that it was happening in their local area. I've been brought up in Tottenham all my life and it's wonderful to see um, modern artwork in Haringey. Growing up we've never had anything like this so to you know see it, it's really exciting and engaging. We are really, really proud of this project. We're really, really proud to have such amazing artists. It's just been great to have these people in Haringey um, doing what they do and doing it amazingly. 